some losses gave me the experience on how to get a full-term pregnancy because I cried to God from the depths of my heart <laughs> then I finally got an epiphany and I figured out what food to eat what food to avoid things to do specifically on how to get a full-term pregnancy because getting pregnant is indeed a miracle and successfully delivering your baby having them to nurture is indeed more spiritual than people think you know some people get the chance and they're lucky enough to just go through pregnancy without any form of stress in fact they were not even praying for it you know they were not even worried about it it just happened and nothing was in their way some people are lucky like that but if you know that you've been having difficulty trying to conceive then you need to take your matter more seriously so some of the things I did that helped me through this particular pregnancy was that I had to <laughs> avoid going out I mean what is life without going out socializing and all that but if you have a bigger goal <laughs> then there's some certain measures you need to take like mine I had to avoid events marketplace in any case I'm not and I really go to the market but then I avoided going to the market I avoided talking to people on the phone because sometimes energy seeps through the phone it's not like whoever it is you're talking to means you any harm but in the process of conversing there's every possibility that you could share the news prematurely out of excitement and it's not as if the person is going to like harm you or wish you bad or whatsoever but sometimes people's fear other people's fear can affect your situation because you opened a channel for them to connect to what you're going through i i don't know if you're getting my point so basically i had to avoid talking to people not because i don't care about them not because i don't care about family and stuff like that but just because i knew i needed to protect my energy even more and i just didn't want to have to share the news prematurely so that you don't have to be giving them constant updates on how it's going because that alone is a lot of pressure on its own i don't want to add that pressure to the pregnancy um stress though staying indoor was quite a bit of a challenge and some people who invited me for events during that time frame must have thought i blew them off and i just didn't want to show up for their events but then now looking back i'm sure they knew they now know the reason i didn't show up for their events anyway i came to that conclusion of not attending events because during one of those times when i was trying to conceive and i mean i was on two weeks wait for one of those pregnancies and there was this friend of mine an old friend who met me at an event after hugging and saying hello to her she literally touched my tummy i mean i was taken aback because i'm like why did she do that and that made me decide that i just didn't want to be in a public setting event or party or whatsoever <laughs> during my pregnancy be also because there was a time i posted a picture <laughs> it was quite early nothing had changed about my face you know top more of my tummy and i saw comments like you look pregnant which means people are like literally keeping track of your life so if you know that you've been trying to conceive for a while you probably need to just disappear in order for you to be able to reach full term because really <laughs> sometimes you have to pay the price of putting a pause to some aspect of your life if you want another aspect to manifest that's one thing i learned through this pregnancy list of foods i had to avoid throughout pregnancy was pineapple apples crayfish prawns i mean <laughs> i love seafood but you really need to avoid it because crayfish has a way of stimulating your period ginger especially has a way of stimulating your period so you need to avoid it if you've been trying to conceive and you've been having difficulty trying to conceive you know you need to avoid um eating chinese food because sometimes it contains ginger vinegar and all those um sauces then you need to also avoid grapes 
I mean, if you can, try to cook your meals. Don't eat out when trying to conceive or especially during the early stages of pregnancy, the first and second trimester. Just like, just make sure you cook your meals or you know exactly what you're putting in your body because sometimes there are some certain ingredients that could just be in the food which might do your body a little more harm than good. Also, I had to avoid bitter leaf and scent leaf. I mean, I'm a lover of scent leaf because I usually would take pepper soup every, almost every week. But then, throughout the pregnancy, I had to avoid scent leaf because scent leaf has a way of flushing your system and stimulating your period on a norm. So like, if you take it during pregnancy, it might do your body some harm. Anyway, there's some certain foods I had to eat from the beginning of pregnancy to the end of pregnancy and I still eat them now. Blueberries, strawberries, pear, then avocados. I mean, those were fruits that I just couldn't do without. Cucumber. Cucumber helps um, ease constipation. I mean, if you take it every day, you won't feel any form of constipation or heartburn that people complain about during pregnancy. I also ate a lot of walnuts, almonds, and fiber, Kellogg's fiber. You know, you need extra fiber in your meal in order for you to have easy digestion. So I ate Kellogg's fiber almost every day. Then oatmeal. Oatmeal helps to control your cholesterol level. I mean, like, it just maintains your blood sugar. So if you can, you should add oatmeal to your diet. Then I ate rice. Then I ate a lot of beans because I just love beans. So I cooked mamoy at least once in two weeks. Then I cooked beans every week. Then I cooked a for you. Okay, but basically it was like any kind come because I usually would mix my ugu and water leaf in the veg in the soup. And that was something I ate at least three times a week. So even if I was eating noodles, I would add vegetable soup to the on it, like to the side because I just had to take my vegetables so basically when trying to conceive and when you're pregnant you need vegetables to make sure your body flushes the toxins naturally you know ordinarily pregnancy makes your body retain water and all that but when you include lots of fruits and vegetables in your diet you would actually feel good jigger so my own routine was that I took my smoothies every night so when I wake up in the morning I get easy bowel movements and I'm fresh and feeling happy for the rest of the day. We've spoken about fruits and fruits to eat and enjoy, fruits and fruits to avoid through pregnancy. But the most important thing I did through this pregnancy was to pray. I prayed every three hours for the first three months. I didn't miss it, even through the night. If you need the prayer points, just text me through, the, through my channel. The link is in the bio or it send a DM and I'll send you the prayer points. And what I can tell you for a fact is that God answers prayers and he needs to see how serious you are. So apart from not attending events or going out or not telling anybody about the pregnancy, you also need to have your faith strong because whatever happens in life, you need spiritual backup. That's all I can say. Anyways, see you in my next video. Much love. Stay blessed. My name is Queen Toby Phillips. Ogunwosi. Bye.